Hi, this is Heather with Autism Chrysalis, and I want to talk about the problem with to-do lists. And let me start by saying that I am a huge fan of lists, to-do lists and otherwise. I organize my life on lists. Um, but when you check something off on a list, it doesn't, like, there's no differentiation between big things or smaller things things that took a lot of energy and time and effort or caused you a lot of stress and things that didn't. So I wrote the text for a website could be the same as I bought apples um, or whatever your big and small things are. They could be very different for different people. Maybe apples is or grocery shopping is a huge deal. It actually is for me. But anyway, the point is that when it, there are things that are a bigger deal. You don't get any extra check. It's not like the box is a bigger box or you get extra satisfaction from it, from checking off the one or the other. Like, because they are visually all identical, you don't naturally get extra dopamine or satisfaction from like, I did this. The reason that can be an issue is that there's always more that could be done. Like, we can always just extend the bar for, okay, I got that done, but there's still more to do. And if I did that, there's still more to do. Or I could do this, or I could do that. Or even when that project is done, there's still other projects that need to be done. Um, and like, there's no limit to how much you could add. And as we keep doing that, as we just keep adding to the lists, it, it sets the brain up so that it never gets that feeling of satisfaction. It never gets that feeling of success. And checking a thing off the list is great, and you get a little bit of that. You get a small hit of dopamine from the completion of that, but some things really do deserve a lot more than other things. Things that were hard for you, things that took a long time or a lot of effort or that cost you a lot, that were stressful for you, but you'd still manage to do it. Things that you had to, to learn more or to understand something about yourself in order to get to a place where it was possible. Um, so what I want to suggest is, because it's not built into the structure of the to-do list, to add that in intentionally it could look like a whole lot of different things. It could be some sort of a celebration. You could just do a little happy dance or um, say to yourself something that you need to hear, like something that you want to remind yourself that like, I did that. It could be telling it to someone else. It could be um, rewarding yourself with some sort of a treat. It could be, and, and not like a reward tit for tat type of thing, but like a celebration. Um, but um, yeah, like just add in other ways to, to acknowledge that certain things took a lot of work and energy and time and effort and, um, and they cost you a lot more and that it's okay to, to acknowledge that. In fact, acknowledging it is healthy for the brain. It keeps the brain able to continually learn and evolve and to grow in positive directions when those positive things in life that we do are acknowledged and reinforced. So it's a, it's a healthy personal growth strategy as well as just feeling good. Okay. Um more I could say about that. I could branch into a few other topics that I'm thinking about, but I'll keep those for different videos in the future. I hope something in this was helpful. If there's something in this that you'd like to share with someone, great. Um, if you'd like more videos like, like this, you can click the subscribe or notifications button and you'll find out when I add more videos. Um, and in the meantime, I hope you have a neuro-wonderful day.